Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Gillen from Mr. Excel, here live with Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. We're here at Highline Community College. I'm out here for the week uh, at the MVP Summit. Someone sent this question in via YouTube, and wow, they were adamant that they had to have data typed in like this, plus, slash, minus, and a number, and they wanted the amount, plus or minus this. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh, I said, Mike, you've got to be kidding me. All right, so uh, my first uh, impression is equal left. I said, Mike, is it always going to be centimeters? He said, yeah, all right, well, that makes it a little bit easier. So we need the left of this, but it might be 1, it might be 10, it might be 100. So I never know how much I want, want to get. So I need the length of that minus 3. Let's just see how that works. I'm hoping to get a 1 there. All right, that's sweet. OK, then plus. All right, that top one, I'm looking at that. I need the mid of that number, uh, comma, 4, comma, oh, geez, I'm going to have to do some counting, length of that whole big thing. Uh, let's see, minus 4, minus 7. That is cool. Now that that's working, I'm going to use the uh, great control ditto trick, control ditto, which will take that exact formula and copy it down. And then all I have to do is change the minus, that plus to a minus. That control ditto trick is pretty cool uh, because it brings the formula down without changing the ranges. All right, I have that formula that's working. All I need to do th is this. There we go. What an evil problem, but that's my solution. Mike, what have you got? Whoa, con control ditto. That is pretty slick. I always co scoop it out, copy it, and paste it. I'm going to have to remember that one. Well, um, what if you don't have to uh, type this in, but we could present it visually with custom number format? How about 0 0.05 here and 1? And I'm going to come here and Control 1. And we want some text. We want the text to appear there, but have the really just a number in the cell so we can do a calculation with that number. So I'm going to go down to uh, Number tab, Custom, and click under Type. And now quotes, plus, slash, minus, space, end double quote. And it looks like we want uh, two decimals showing, so I'm going to type a 0.00. .00 open double quote space centimeter end double quote. You'd see the sample emerge up here looking all right. Oh, look at that. Now it looks like it's there, but sure enough it's not. And if you hit F2, boom, and you could change that number to whatever you want and then the uh, formulas down here will update. Uh, this one, control one, custom. How about uh, 0, 0.00 double quote space CM end double quote. All right, so now it looks like uh, <laughs> that has text in the cells, but when we do our formula equals this F4 plus this F4, and then I'll copy it down. Not as slick as Control <laughs> Ditto, but and I'll change that. All right, uh, so there you have it. Uh, All right, yeah, hey, that's uh, that's that's pretty sweet. Now what? So what if this was like 0.1 though? So now you're going to have an extra zero there all the time. Um, so I'm going to go to Control One. What if we change that instead of 0, 0.00? What if we do 0, 0.0 and then pound sign? That pound sign says, "Hey, put a digit there if you need it, but if you don't, uh, then it doesn't show up." And so now if we have 0 0.05 and if we have 0.2, the extra zero doesn't show up there. And we don't we don't really care because uh, we don't have to use the left or the right. What a horrible horrible problem! It, you know, this is someone's manager is making them do this. Oh, you know, yeah. right? It's always the crazy manager that's saying, "Oh yeah, it has to look like this." What an evil problem! Well, there you go. Hey, it's a it's another dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel, and Excel is fun. See you next time.